What was the mindset coming in the third period, tied 0-0, and you know you got a power play to start the period? I, I liked our power, our first power play was really good. Um, our second one, not so much. Uh, so we wanted to kind of get back to what we did in the first one, shot mentality, and um, you know make some plays, kind of use their aggression um, against them. And uh, Dolls had a, a great shot, and I was just able to get a piece of it. How big is it for you guys to, I mean, this is a tough place to play, a good team, and to be be without a couple of key guys and to get out a win like yeah. that? It was huge. I mean, guys were were laying out, Mal, you know, blocking shots. Um, you know, Cuzzy, I think, had four at the end there. I mean, guys are sucking wind at the end there and, uh, you know, found a way to get it done. I thought Oopy was incredible. Um, so it was, a, it was a full team effort tonight. It was nice to see. What was the challenge with dealing with their pressure, them trying to really disrupt you guys in your breakouts and trying to make life yeah, difficult? Yeah, we, we're trying to up our talk a little bit, you know, try to you know, be yelling at each other a little bit more, help each other out. Um, I thought we did a good job of that tonight. Then he's talked a lot about not losing two games in a row. What's it take as a team to have that kind of resiliency in your experience? You know, you got to learn from um, every game is you're learning something, right? I mean, whether you're winning or you're losing, you're, you're not playing a perfect game. And uh, I mean, even tonight, I thought our, our second period start was was horrible. Um, but, you know, we, we uh, were able to kind of turn around in the third, have a better start in the third and get back after it. So whether we're winning or losing, we're trying to learn from it and uh, and take uh, take into the next game. What was your level of elation when you got the goal, knowing it was a tight, you know, low-scoring game, and that might be all you needed? Yeah, I mean, they were they were playing. They're, they're a tight team. Right? It's it's a stingy game every time you play them, and uh, so we, we knew that going in, and uh, it was that the entire night. So um, you're just trying to, uh, you know, it's never going to be a pretty one against a team like that. It seems like so. Just try to uh, do what you can, and, and you got to win. With the longer change in the second period, is it just key to, to manage it the right way? I mean, what do you? What, what's the key to just having more yeah, consistent? Smarter changes, smarter dumps, trying to get uh, the puck to where they can't quick up it away from our bench and, and get some scoring chances, things of that sort. So um, I, I thought uh, after the first five minutes, we kind of calmed down, started playing our game again. First five, I thought we were chasing. We were trying to be a little too fancy, and um, they, they took it to us for five minutes. So it was nice to see who be, you know, bailed us out a couple times, and uh, we were able to kind of weather that storm and get back after it. What have you learned about your goaltender in these few months? You've been his teammate. Uh, he's he's an unbelievable goalie. I, I love the way he plays. He's calm in the net. It's uh, there's a there's a poise to his game that uh, I think carries through our decor into our forwards and and uh, you know throughout throughout the entire bench. So it's it's nice to see.